Hey YouTube, it's Delgin here. Welcome to Ratchet and Clank 2. Locked and loaded. Oh, I should play in the um, the any other release. It's uh, going commando. So I've been really looking forward to this. Like we just finished Ratchet and Clank 1, and we're gonna go for all the platinum balls and all the nano take upgrades. We're not going for any of the um, what is it called? Any of the skill points unless we get them accidentally. But let's start. With, let's start the game. Let's start a new game. Actually, I want to go back a sec before we start the new game. If you can tell, I'm playing this on the remaster version. We want um. I can't, I can't turn the subtitles on. Language, English, yeah, that's fine. Vibration, yep. Uh, new game, and let's go and play Ratchet and Clank 2. So, uh, yeah, if you wonder why it's called Ratchet and Clank 2, it's because I'm playing the, the PAL version. It's Ratchet and Clank going commando, that's the title. Uh, yeah. Let's go. To Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh yeah, that. And then, things started to slow down a bit. After that, we... well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, um, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess... No one needs a hero right now. Meanwhile, in the Bogon Galaxy. Miss Noodlebottom, I found our man! Seconds later. Welcome! What the? I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company in the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy. Indubitably! A few days ago, this top-secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal mastermind, and I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisations for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse suite in lovely Megapolis, and our state-of-the-art robotic masseuse. Deal. As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you on some purgatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, lacrimae, ballroom dance, and origami. Two weeks later, later. We've used bipolar vector regurgitation to track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector 7. Infill tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. I'm pretty sure that way I actually get our mission, which is the first like level in the game. I'm actually just putting my chair and chilling. So yeah, welcome to Ratchet and Clank 2. It's based in the Borgon Galaxy, which is a totally different galaxy. Um, I want to talk about when we land. I don't know if it's going to be a cutscene or not. I think there is. Ratchet reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. So I first want to talk about why the names are different. Uh, if you don't know, in the UK, there's a lot of like laws around um, names and stuff. By the way, we've got Strafe in now in game in the game. Well, hey, uh, I don't know how I feel about this camera angle, but uh, as you can see, we start off with the blaster as well as the gravity bomb, which by far is my favorite Ratchet and Clank. By the way, and just because of like the whole um, Ratchet and Clank name is kind of a bit of a pun, we can't double tap Y anymore. I don't think. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Ratchet and Clank 2. Uh, so it's no longer Gradutron anymore. Who sells the thing? I think it's. Uh, Oh, we'll get into that later on, but as you can see, first circle by our Lancer, auto lock, you know, it's, and we also, we also got strafing, which I don't know how I feel about strafing in this game, uh, as you can see, the buttons are exactly the same, pretty much, but we actually get a lot more bolts now, and I'm actually so pumped for this, also, if you may notice that all the bolts are actually gold, and not silver anymore, it's weird how, like, each game you go into a new area, and, like, the, the last bolts aren't half as bad, also, the locking with the wrench is amazing in this game, this is like a big step up for the original game. We don't, we haven't just got like one HP, like as you can see, what four HP there. But the more enemies we kill, as you can see, there's a little experience bar going up. So as you can imagine, like this game, it's got a certain max um, HP, which we're definitely not going to hit, by the way, in our first playthrough, just because of the fact that like uh, we might actually, might actually, but like 
the whole uh, experience thing in this game, it, it's, it makes this game so much more easier than the original. Which I kind of like. Also, you may notice that we've got no clank. We can't we can't do any jumps. Clank's not here. Uh, it, he's, he was in the cutscene though, so who knows where we're going to meet him or what have you. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, he's telling us we can do this. Let's, let's actually try out the gravity bomb in a second. I'm pretty sure there's like an achievement for like... No, I'm pretty sure there's a glitch on this level, because I remember seeing a... A speed on this game. Also, you notice it can freeze enemies now when you go into the quick select, which makes it a lot easier just to do stuff also with the gravity bomb. It's gonna take us forever to level up. But oh yeah, uh, I didn't really mention this as well. There's also a level up system in this game. The more damage we do with with weapons, the more we level up. As you can see in the top left on our ammo counter, there's a little bar. When they hit, hit max, we're gonna level up our weapon. Try using the gravity bomb, which it's like it's literally like a nuke. Um, but yeah, I I, I kind of like it. But the thing is. The, the ammo consumption is just it's too high for my liking. Like you only get eight to start with, and I'd rather not lose it. But here's the purple pet. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, 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 no, hey, no, no. Look, I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> so yeah, we've already got introduced to the main antagonist of the game. Uh, this game actually is, is a lot, be lot better than the original. Like, if you remember the cutscenes in the original, there was a lot of glitches and stuff. I'm pretty sure in this game, some of the glitches, what, which were in the previous game, has actually been fixed. Such as, um, I'm pretty sure the cutscenes aren't always like 2D, I'm pretty sure the water swimming thing is not a glitchy. And also there's a little upgrade which I'll get to later on when we go for the balls. Because, um, well I'll go over it now, why not? In the original game, the gold balls, well it's pun on balls in this game, um, you can't actually get them all. Like, you don't know where they are in the world, so if you're going for 100% it's kind of annoying. But, oh cutscene. Bugs for less, if it ain't broke, we'll break it. Right, I'm in the market for some security. You'll bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good, I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. So yeah, but in the original of the game, um, you don't know where they are. Okay, okay now I'm increases your HP and all that. Uh, but this is, the, I feel like this game's kind of like tried to go in the RPG element. This is before like all the mainstream RPGs such as Skyrim. And, uh, Oblivion was out, yeah, it was over Elder Scrolls, like Morrowind when this came out, but, well, I don't think it was, I think it was Elder Scrolls 2 when this came out, but, uh, like, this, this this game actually tried to make it into an RPG, an RPG FPS, which I think, it was really good at the time, but, like, since I played the game so much, yeah, and sadly, wait, what? L1. Ooh, oh my god, first person, it's like we're actually, like, in Doom or something, can we kill this guy? No. Spider, spider bro, spider bro. Oh, cool. It looks like there's no aiming, we just have to shoot. See, this is first person. I'm probably not going to use this first person that often because I feel like it's a bit, it's a bit in need in it. But it's fine. You may like actually get an idea of like um, you may actually be able to see this, but like a lot of these enemies seem like they're just redesigned from the original. And I do believe that, that there are. You can think this game came out, came out a year after the original, and I'm pretty sure they tried to make it so like every Ratchet Clank game came out a year after. Uh, well, the, the other original three, which it was kind of weird because like, I had it was back before YouTube even came came about and. When I actually started playing these games as a kid, I actually had no idea there was a second and third game for a longest time until I was like, I went shopping. Oh, can't see The story in a second because you're gonna, be, you're gonna be another cutscene. Ratchet checking in, sir. Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an omission which may lubricate the matter. Do you have any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? You bet, mister! We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes! Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? 
defenses deactivated. <laughs> you forgot your change! So yeah, um, what was that about? Uh, I had no idea when the next game was going to come out, actually, clank wise, so I never really got to play it. But we're on planet Uzawa, which is our first main world of the game. You can see we've landed here. We've still got no clank, though, sadly. But I think it's perfect time to end off the episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, it would be greatly appreciated. Next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we're going to go and probably going to buy the uh, chopper. But we're going to go and uh, explore the second world of the game. Well, the first main world. We're flying through this game already. Um, but yeah, I shall see you guys next time for more Ratchet and Clank going commando. I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Love you.